Let's see who we got. Ooh, a sword lady? A knife lady? Bro! What's up everybody it's your boy showtime doctor so i wanted to show you guys a game i'm gonna cover in the future on this channel it's called girls frontline 2 exilium and it's got a target date on global for december 3rd they've announced so i'm gonna be go ahead hit the ground run on this game and i went through the whole billy billy process to get signed up so that i can go and play it on the chinese servers which i'm doing right now for those of you that have played xcom it plays a whole lot like an XCOM, so you got your move. This is the third tutorial mission. They've already introduced Auto, which is over here. And essentially what you want to do is you take these abilities and you try to target people and take them out before they tactically come and overwhelm you. I got two units right now, Miss Sniper Hottie and Miss All Around. So you see here the health bar. It's not going to completely take this guy out, but we do have a secondary here that will take this dude out so see how that works and i wasn't sure about this game when i first looked at it but now that i've actually like sat down and played with it a bit i'm liking it i'm liking it a lot so let's see if i can dome one of these cats yeah it's pretty much insta kill on either one of them i think i'll go ahead and get the dude with the gun although this guy probably has a gun too i just can't see it So there goes round one. It's their turn now. Man's apparently about to throw like some type of explosive or something. If we can actually just go around this. Just dome this dude from here. Good one, homie. And then this guy is also now behind cover. So the enemies are going to get better as the game goes on. But of course they're just warming us up here. Let's see if they got any more objectives for us. And I think this is one of those, like, super waifu games. Probably not my type. I think I'm more into the sniper lady. <laughs> but so, what I'm doing right now, I gotta get to this stage, and I think everything unlocks as far as summons and stuff. So this is just my first take on this game. See how the reactions are going. Uh, stories in another language. I'll just show you a little bit of it, but I won't. I won't do too many spoilers or anything. This is Miss All Around, I believe. This is. Uh, I think she's like little sister, little obsessive sister. This is our glorious base, as you can see here. <laughs> So let's go ahead and skip that. Who knows what this is, but maybe it's the pay currency, I can't tell. When I play this game offline, I have an OCR reader, so I can see what's going on. But you can imagine, you know, these are the three conditions you gotta meet. Kill stuff by six rounds, probably is what that is. Stage four, these are the enemies, this is what possibly drops. And this is probably the stamina it takes. And I want to see when things open up, what this game's like. And of course, we got to see the summon animations, and hopefully, they got like a really good character for us. Child soldier, ho! <laughs> I like how these guys are just letting us run up to him. Oh, I guess I could have placed them better. Oh well. <laughs> hey, bro, what's up? Huh? Must have been my imagination. And I wonder what the 20% is. I think that might be crit rate. Or maybe it's like armor penetration. I'm not sure yet. Oh, man. Yeah, she's got counter, bro. We could red rocket this cat. 
So I think graphically it actually looks pretty good. I've heard so many good and bad things about Girls Frontline 1, never played it. And I heard they have a spin-off game that's pretty popular too. I briefly checked that out, but I decided it wasn't for me. Look at that loot. Oh yeah. So I guess these must be like bonus stages. But this SL12 is the one I'm trying to get to, so let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll see how the game opens up. Oh, hello. I know enough anime Japanese to know that she's greeting me. And she just introduced herself. I'm kind of liking that little ninja star necklace. You feel threatened? I never seen someone carry their gun right here. That's funny. <laughs> it's even got the hourglass earrings. <laughs> as much as I'm mocking her, I kind of dig her. Maybe she's like a specialist or something. After this game, I want to get to Persona 5X. I think that's going to be the game to cover next year. And I happen to be a really big Persona nerd as well as 16-bit bear. So we were actually thinking about making a show just specifically for that game, talking about Persona. Uh, but it's kind of hard. I'm not sure if Joe and Doe would show up because Joe really needs a particular style of magic for her games. That's her thing. And then Doe, you never know with him. He's on his second gacha and he has like an aesthetic thing, I notice. He has to have a certain aesthetic that he really likes before he'll commit to a game. So who knows? Whether it happens or not, who knows. But either way, I still want to interact with both of them. Uh, I saw potential in both of them as soon as I saw them interacting with people in their videos. And I'm glad that we put something together. As you can see, both of them now, they're both in like the 2000s and subs. Doing excellent work. Even though I kind of wish Doe wouldn't work himself that hard, but oh well. Alright, that's enough story. So wait, that was the thing I was trying to get to the whole time? I thought there'd be like a... Only got to the login screen. So we're unlocking stuff. They want me to go here. And it looks like we finally hit the summon room. Now, I'm wondering, is there summons and weapons summons as well? And this is probably like the noob banner. Yeah, that's the ticket system. I got one ticket. So let's see how much currency it's going to take to do this and the animation. It's like 90s music. A sword, eh? Makeshift bunny ears. You just can't escape the bunny ear thing in Gotcha, can you? It's always there. Lurking. <laughs> Every time. I wonder if she's scripted or is she just like one of maybe four characters you could pull here? I would guess she's scripted. Don't know what that means. I'm getting out of here. Okay, they gave us one. Sure. So I think she's saying there's a lot of potential here, but you have to work for it. I'll touch my boobs and kill them. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so is this like a stage development thing? That's probably costumes. 
This is level, I'm guessing. I can already tell the Reddit for this game. It's going to be like all cosplay and fan art. But there is going to be at least one content creator covering actual mechanics. So. They have a level up animation. That's funny. I wonder if there's a crit. If you get like the bonus roll, does she just like one shot everyone without doing anything? So let me guess. 89 attack, 215 life, 72 defense. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, let me out of here. Let me out of here now. What was that? That was like a free mode. Of course there's a free mode. Can I zoom in? Of course I can zoom in. Alright. Don't know what that is. Maybe it's like make them your lobby character or something like that. Which, if that's the case, I want Sniper Lady. Let's see if I was right. Here's mail. Alright, give me that. So, with the way that accounts work on Billy Billy, I don't think there's any chance for me re-rolling. So, I'm literally just going to pull if I think a character looks cool or has, like, some type of unique mechanic. Because that's the thing I tend towards in Gotcha, especially early. Oh, we got a character from now. How about that? Um, I like to have the good farm characters that can kill stuff quick. And I also like to have unique mechanics. That lollipop, of course. I thought she was smoking. <laughs> lollipop bombs. The little Monokuma added. Okay. Sure, you can hang out with us. Let's go. And then we got this. I wonder if these are all, like, the males. I'm gonna read these at some point. But these are all the males that have accumulated over the last... However long this game's been out. I think it came out earlier this year. Okay, take me to banners. Let's go. We are going to judge together as a community the banners. So this looks like a basic banner. Yeah, that looked like a different color. Or I'm tripping. <laughs> okay, we got the gold. Let's go. Hopefully I get whatever top tier is. Who is it? Do I like your aesthetic? Oh, it's her again. But it was gold. I'm highly confused now. Oh, okay, so it was... I thought that was the last one. That's what I get. Let's see who we got. Ooh, a sword lady? A knife lady? Bro! Yo, I'll take it. I don't know if she's good or not. I don't know if she's top tier or not. But if she can help me farm faster, that's just as good to me. I don't care if you're F tier. She looks like she can help me farm. So that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Yeah, here we go. So 50. 50 those. And then 189, so these must be the SSRs. And then this is everything else, so... Looks like SSR rate's about 2%, maybe a little less. Yeah, it's a little less, because weapons are so prevalent. Good weapons and decent characters are 13%. 
then 1.89. Or rainbows, including the banner character. All right, what else we got? Some type of sleepy lady with a machine gun. All right, what else? Some type of weapon. Now I am gonna have to learn which weapons are good versus which are not. And who knows what the hell this is, but... 80-some characters, maybe? Another weapon banner. We got what appears to be a robotic lady. Sniper. I like her style, though. Oh, she's a bow. Okay. Okay, so I think I got it now. So this is this lady, right? But then this is a weapon that you want for her. Did you see how the weapon looks very similar? It's definitely a machine gun of some type. She's using a machine gun in the video. And then likewise, whoever these people are, Akatsuki or whatever the hell's going on. That's a group of weapons that's also in shadow, so that's probably their weapons. So this might be a game where you pull, like, dual banner stuff. Interesting. And then this is the sniper lady. And, oh, look, a sniper rifle. So currency, you got this orange currency. You got what appears to be the same orange currency. I wonder if that's, like, a pay banner, then. No idea. Let's see what this is that they're trying to push on us. I guess we could check one of the side stages. I'm liking this vibe so far. I really am. Just gotta get to the point where I'm more knowledgeable about what's happening around me. Yeah, it looks like I can take all these cuts. Um, I got new characters, though. I wanted to try... So let's do that. We got a sword lady, and we got lollipop, lollipalooza. I'm looking, I'm looking. I wonder if that explosion radius is good enough to get. Let's see, let's see what this one does. I wonder why that has a lollipop icon, if that's what it does. Alright, bro. You about to feel the pain, baby. <laughs> oh, well. She blanked. You gonna take that? What's up, cuh? <laughs> what? She goes through solid objects? Whoa. I guess you kind of have to be mobile if you're going to be a melee in this game, but that's still really funny. Alright, let's see what the four does. Uh, what is this? Like a buff? I guess it's a buff. Well, never mind. We don't want a buff, so we want to kill. Kona. Oh, no. I guess I probably want to keep going down the main story, though. There's more rewards here. Just to show auto functionality, I'll do auto this next map. A lot of cats here. Just so we can see, is it decent, even in the tutorial stages, or not? Uh, so let's see, we got Sword Lady. I'd like to have her over here. Uh, a Lollipop Lady, I'm not really digging you right now. So let's get Sniper Wolf back out here. Let's get Miss All Around. All Around can go over there, let's do it. No interference from me, let's see. 
what auto does. About as expected. Big buff. That's my lady right there. survives and he's on fire looks like the sword lady's the fastest followed by all around level <laughs> we got bears. Oh, wait, no, they're more like were creatures. Okay, I'm cool with this team. Let's do it. Hug me. Subscribe to the 16 bit bear. <laughs> Alright, no auto this time. Let's explore. Um. I do have to be careful because her go forward thing is a double edged sword, and these guys seem like they're pretty, uh. pretty punishing in melee. Let's go ahead and rock her back. And we'll just take care of stuff as it comes up. Yo, hit that. Yeah. Boom! And my lady. She could hit that cat, huh? Wow. Why well, pay you the big bucks? Just like Dotato. <laughs> oh, snap. I could have just hit that. I wasn't even looking. I wonder if there is a, let's see. Can I go back a turn? Is that possible? Yeah, it is, okay. Oh, right, here we go. Okay, so let's go here. Very nice. Hey, don't hit her. But if you do, don't hit her in the face. Sick counter. I guess she has kind of like a protect then. It's not just her countering. She actually counters when someone gets hit near her. We're up to 1245. What is this? Ah, bonuses, I see. Apparently I have 34 of those. I have no idea what they do. But I'm sure they're great. Alright, so 1295. The year 2070. Lady, what's going on with your nails? Snaggletooth here. Looks like we got an auto turret. It's killing time. Any explosives? Hmm. 
Oh, it's Miss Melee. Um, all right, we'll play it safe. I wonder if that's something I can interact with, maybe. Get Red Rocket out. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess I can't hit it. That's too bad. Alright, well, we might as well just interact with this. Oh, is that for us now? <laughs> Excellent. So I guess there's a little bit of tower defense in this. <laughs> Rand rocket. Playing too much Fallout. Lady thinks she's Charles Xavier. It's funny, the musical vibes in this kind of remind me of Ark Knights. I wonder if some of the same composers are involved. I'm digging this. <laughs> Poor man's Mecha Godzilla. What is this? Come on. <laughs> so I'm guessing if we go head on with it, we'll get whooped. So we gotta use the turrets and some tactics. Godzilla scream? Let's go. Mecha Morning Star. See if I get whooped or not. Um, Sword Lady really isn't going to be able to do much, so I guess you have turned into Activation Lady. Activate my turrets. Yeah, you better probably. Actually, you could be a good distraction. Let me throw you over here. Alright, Miss Counter, I want you in the middle. So that if this dude gets close somehow, you're gonna be countering. Plus, you got all those lovely sandblags or cindle blocks or whatever the hell that is. You can go ahead and fire a rocket off at this cat. <laughs> I saw that lowered armor, so I guess that's one of these games where it lowers the armor the more you hit them. Yeah, minus five. Okay, interesting. Alright, so let's soften them up then. Super shots. Actually, probably save the super shot. Until his armor's lower. <laughs> That's sound, man. <laughs> Exactly what I wanted to happen right there. Even in other languages, my tactics don't fail me. Um, so he's just going to blow up or is he going to charge? I can't quite tell. So technically I should be okay, but it'll blow up all the covers. So let's go ahead. We'll move back a bit. Let's see what this does. Remember your third grade teacher. <laughs> All right. Same thing with you, my lady. I want you to smash this dude's right foot. 
I guess left foot. Oh, we canceled it. <laughs> so moving back was kind of meaningless. Into the fray we go, tank lady who can't. Oh, she can. Let's do it. What do you think this is? Die Hard the movie? <laughs> well, he's having a good time. Buff out, why not? More defense. Alright, this didn't get old the first time, so let's do it. Oh, okay, she has a follow-up. And what a boss. Uh, I guess I'd rather be behind him than out in the open. Might as well stay here. Looks like he's got armor back. Don't you know who I am? That's great. <laughs> that six cinder block wall. Oh, I guess we're getting targeted, huh? Is he not targeting anymore? I guess he got cancelled out of it again. <laughs> yeah, that's a tutorial boss for you. Great job. Chapter 2. So probably for completing chapter 1. Get a good amount of rewards. No idea what all this is about. Oh, okay. These are like in-game events or whatever. Maybe pay stuff. Is there something free in here? Oh, it's a free character. Or is it? Yeah. All this in Wonderland meets the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> we'll try her out if we get the opportunity.
Oh yeah, we did it, fam. Got myself a gun. Some more tickets. It's funny how when you play gotchas long enough, you just kind of know where to go. All right, so I think that's good enough for a first look. Let me know what you think about that. I actually having a good time. What I'm going to do while I'm offline, I'm going to actually go through the OCR and go look at everything and figure out what's what. And then from there, just keep going. So, All right, y'all. So hopefully you enjoyed this first look at Girls Frontline 2. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.